So we are live here tonight from Midway Gymnasium. Tonight's matchup will be none other than the Conley Cadets against the Lorena Leopards. And I am here tonight with Paul and Color Commentator, Jalen Gillis. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on, people? We're looking forward to a great game tonight. Number zero, they're going to be right now. Uh, this is the game. This is high school playoffs. Texas high school playoffs. The winner of this game, the winner of this game, plays the winner of the Jack Yates. Number three, Booker T. Washington. Tory, most schools in Houston. They'll play the winner of that game uh, on Friday. On Friday, I do believe. So Number this is five, a big game. A six-two junior, been here before, and uh, they've got some experience. And Number ten. And so this is going to be uh, junior, an opportunity for them to play on that experience and see what they can do with the uh, Lorena Leopards. Now Lorena, Lorena. Uh, has a great shooting team. Great shooting team. And now, we have some great athletes. So we're looking forward to see how this turns out tonight. All right, folks, we are here at Midway Stadium, and we are getting ready for tip-off in this 4A Division II playoff game between the Conley Cadets and the Lorena Leopards. These teams are very familiar, each other, uh, familiar with each other, seeing that they play each other in the conference and in their district. Uh, Lorena has got the upper hand on Conley both times, women winning both games under 10 points coming out in slim margins, but they did get the victory. And we are off, folks. Looks like Lorena's gonna start out man-to-man. -man. See how their athletes match up with Conley in this man-to-man. -man. And Lorena is off in transition, trying to push the pace of the game already. Early foul. That is the junior, D. Cooks, with the foul. First team foul there. Looks like Conley is gonna start off. It looks like, and it looks like a slight zone. Now we know Lorena has shooters all over the floor. First shot missed. Rebound, let's see how Conley tries to push the transition here. And now, Lorena has some tall, big guys down in the middle and in that zone, it's gonna be hard for Conley's athletes to be able to get to the rim and get easy buckets. Moving the ball around, trying to get a shot up. Good defense here from Conley. Good rotations.
Throws it in low to the big man, number 24, Brian Ash. That is the 6'6 senior. Looks like Lorena's team has got a little height on them here. But like I said earlier, we do know that they are dangerous as they have shooters all over the floor. alley goes up and it is good. Great pass and a great finish by number five, Juwan Ford. Connor's gonna look to use their athletes all night and try to probably push the pace of this game and get some easy buckets in transition. Let's see how their defense can get them into that. Once again, they got their senior, the big man, Brian Ash. Looks like they're gonna be trying to go to him a lot down low tonight. Oh, and that's a bad turnover. Connor does not need that. But it's early in the game, gotta get some of these early game jitters. This Lorena crowd has got the stadium rocking so far. Small bringing the ball up the court. Shot is up. Looks like it's going to be a foul on 2 4. Brian Ash, the loose ball foul. Connor's going to have to be able to crash the boards here early if they want to keep an advantage on this Lorena team. The Lorena team does have height but they also have shooters. So giving them a second chance does make them very dangerous. D. Cook's bringing the ball up for court again. Kind of looking to set into the half court offense and trying to break the zone. Oh, B. Cook's got all the way to the goal. Couldn't finish the layup. Lorena in transition, looking to shoot three. Oh, travel, travel. Good defense there, forcing the travel. That is a senior, C. Livingston, number 10 with the travel. 5.05 left in the first quarter. Lorena four, Conley two. Good drive by. Great drive from Conley there. Conley playing good defense here, getting on all the switches. Pick and roll action to the senior. Good steal. Oh, we got a loose ball here. After two players running into each other. Good defense from Conley to be able to still get the ball back while having somebody down on the ground. Man down so far is number five, Ford. Couple subs in the game for Conley. Number 12, C. Taylor. Conley bringing the ball up the floor. Game is still tied here with four minutes left to go. Good drive, could not finish there. Great rebound. Great rebound to put back. Lorena looking to get set in this half-court offense. <clears throat> Swinging the ball around. Conley still playing good defense. Shot up and a miss. Conley looking to push in transition. Getting the ball down the court. Swings it to the corner. He's wide open. Cash it in for the three. Number 12. 
Betsy Taylor. Conley's crowd is loud and ready to go. That three just made the gym explode, as you can hear. They're playing good defense, looking to get revenge on this Lorena team. Offensive rebound by Lorena, and the big senior coming downhill. And one, foul, and the bucket for number 24. Free throw is made, so it is now seven to nine. McConley leading with 2.50 left to go in the first quarter. McConley looking to get into the offense. Nice driving kick, another three put up, and it is a miss, rebounded by Lorena, and they're pushing the ball down the court. Conley's athletes so far have been matching up well against Lorena. Defense, good hands all over the court. Conley playing good defense. And the shot is up and it is a miss. Rebounded by Conley and they're pushing the ball down the court. The stop back and shot. And it is good by number five, Ford, with another clutch bucket here early on in the game. Conley's athletes are really pushing on these three-point shooters, not letting them get much room to try to get a shot off. And that's what it's going to have to be throughout the game in order to keep this Lorena team down. Shot again by number 24, the senior, B. Ash, and he is fouled again. He looks like this is going to be Lorena's go-to guy going down here throughout the game. Foul was on number two, Corey Black. Got some subs coming in, some fresh legs getting back in the game for both teams. And free throws are good by the senior, B. Ash. Conley moving the ball, looking to get to an open shot. Conley's going to have to use that ball movement and the penetration and kick. Oh, and the dunk. The dunk by the tremendous athlete, number two, Corey Black. And Lorena responds quick with the three-point shot in the corner. And we got a timeout here on the court. So with 53 seconds left to go in the first, it is 13, Conley. Midwood and Lorena, 12. 30 second timeout.
back at the action here. 53 seconds left to go in the first. Conley has the ball. They're bringing it up here. The ring is looking to push Conley to the outside, not letting them get into their offense. This zone is not allowing much penetration from Conley. But Conley's done a pretty good job of penetrating and getting the looks that they want. Nice driving kicks. 24 seconds left on the, on the clock. Looks like Conley's going to try to hold here for the last shot of the quarter. And Tim come and get the ball. He's looking to set up the offense. Looks like they're going to set a play up here. Cooks has the ball. Shooting back out to the outside. Passes off to number 21. They get a shot to the corner. He passes it one more time. Three. Conley. Right here at the end of the quarter. It's a big shot at the end of the quarter. So Conley looking to rebound from in their regular season. Woes against Lorena. Leading 16 to 12 at the end of the first quarter. Hey, we want to thank our sponsors tonight. None other than Custom Creations here at 103 Panther Way. Want to thank them for sponsoring this content. Also want to thank my friends over at Prosperity Tax Service. Go and talk to Rocky or Keisha at Prosperity Tax Service. 605 Austin Avenue. They can hook you up. Tax season is in ro is roaring right now. You got to April 15th. Got to take care of business. Tonight, uh, We've got a classic matchup tonight between this Connolly team and this Lorena team. Score is pretty close, 16 to 12. Connolly on top. Both teams have been able to hit the three-point shot, the long shot. Both teams playing good defense. We're in store for a, a great game tonight. If you're watching this, go to... Uh, if you're watching it, share it, like this page, so we can continue to bring you great content from Central Texas. Now we're back to the action. Start of the second quarter here. Score 16 to 12. Lorena has the ball to start off. Great first, great first quarter from Conley coming out aggressive, knocking down the shots. As we got a miss there from number 10. Good rebound by Kevion Gaithman. Crowd not liking that call. As Lorena retains possession. Into the big man. B. Ash. He has been controlling this game so far for Lorena. Putting in work. Number 10, Cleveland has the ball at the top of the key. Looking to create a shot. It's out of bounds on Cleveland. That's a turnover. Lorena ball. Lorena looks like they're going to try to come and attack here in full court. Put, a, put pressure on this Lorena team. Like I said before, they've done a great job of not letting this Lorena team get many good looks at the three-pointer. We know the three-pointer is the bread and butter of the Lorena team. Ball outside to the big man, number 24, B. Ash. Lorena looking to set some offense up. Swings it out to the corner. The spin move. Three is missed. Rebound by Kevion Gaither. Conley pushing the ball down the court. Cleveland has the ball, moving. He loses the ball, falls on it. And Conley did get a timeout when they fell on the ball. Great timeout by Coach Snell there to keep possession of the ball. 6.33 left here in the first half. The score is 16, Conley. Lorena, 14. We'll be right back after this commercial. And you see all that I need Insecurity Makes no to you you love me in spite of me you still love me love in spite of 
back to the action here. 6.33 left in the first half. Conley has possession. Jump ball there, Lorena gets a steal. They're going down the court and they get the score. That is number 10, Livingston. So bad pass going out of bounds there. Looks like Conley didn't really know what play they were supposed to run out of bounds. Almost another turnover there from Conley. They're gonna have to get their guards calmed down a little bit. Can't turn, can't turn the ball over down here as we see Lorena is capitalizing. The ball gets out to Cooks. Shot is up and it is a miss. By number five, Ford. He's been making shots all night. He's gonna look to continue to be aggressive. <clears throat> Lorena swinging the ball up. Swinging the ball around. Good ball movement. But Conley's got their hands up and a lot letting these shooters get a good shot. Steal by number five, Ford. He's pushing the ball down the court. He gets it off to Cleveland for the bucket. Good fast break and a good opportunity created by number five, Ford, and the finish for number 10, Cleveland. He called the charge. So, Jawan Ford is all over the court tonight, making plays after getting that charge and creating turnovers, creating opportunities on both sides of the floor for this Conley Cadets team. That's what they're gonna need. Good leadership from their big players here. As they go down the stretch, Conley bringing the ball up the court. Looking to get into the offense, trying to break the zone once again. Ball movement, trying to break the zone. And they call the travel. <clears throat> Looks like a travel on number three, Tory Nobles. If you follow us at uh, Syntec Sports, you know that uh, we cover the football games as well. And they do have some great athletes here for both sides. Looks like Connor's got great athletes for football and basketball. As a lot of these basketball players also play football. So you've heard some of these names before. Turn over there by number five, Ford. Got a sub coming in for number 22 for Lorena. After the turnover, Lorena's gonna get the ball here. 434 left in the second quarter. The score is still Conley 18, Lorena 16. Lorena bringing the ball up the floor. <clears throat> Conley looking to trap. The trap pays off. They get the ball up the court. Layup by number three, Tory Nobles. So it looks like the trap is working here. And looks like we're gonna have a fall on number 10, Cleveland. Cleveland's looking to stay with these players. All the, all the athletes on the Conley side are really creating trouble for Lorena here. Looks like they're gonna try to press and switch between the press and trapping. Lorena gets the ball across court and another turnover is forced. These athletes are doing their job on defense and on offense getting a transition after the turnover. Like Coach Snell is doing a great job so far of turning their defense into offense for Conley. Conley bringing the ball up the floor, trying to get some ball movement. Swing to the outside. Step back jumper for Ford. It is good. Jawan Ford with another jumper. He's been money tonight. On offense and defense. <clears throat> Got an air ball there from number 32. Conley coming back down the court looking to respond. Ford with the hot hand looking to make a play. 
Step back, decided not to shoot. Swings it to three. Tori Nobles for the three. <laughs> it is good. Three for Tori Nobles. <laughs> Another turnover. Conley has the ball. And a foul, number 32 with the push. This Conley crowd is rocking. Their players are feeding off of the crowd noise. And I make turning these turnovers into points. Also great shooting from their players so far. Jawan Ford and Tory Nobles have taken this second quarter to another level for the Conley Cadets. They're up 25 to 16 with three minutes left to go in the first half. Almost lost the ball there. Recovered by Tory Nobles, he kicks it out. Looks like they call a charge underneath the goal there. That charge call was on number three, Tory Nobles. Conley trapping, pressing in the half court, making it hard for Lorena to get this ball past half court. Great steal once again, and a dunk on the other end for Cleveland. And these Conley athletes are making it really hard for Lorena, moving the ball down the court and they're turn making turnovers into points. With 2.39 left to go in the second quarter, Conley is up 27 to 16. Timeout, Lorena. It was once said that stories are the shortest distance between us and the truth. Others have tried to tell our story, but our story is unique. It must be told from the inside out. Our Back to the action here with 239 left to go. Lorena bringing the ball up the court. Conley is still leading 27 to 16. Defense has created so many points tonight for Conley, and they're looking to keep it going here. We got a foul there. So Arena's going to the line for two. The foul was on 15, Ronnie Tucker. As their senior, Big Bo, knocks down the first free throw. Got a sub here on the common side. Big Trent pulling, subbing into the game. Knocks down both the free throws. Lorena is perfect so far from the free throw line. Scores 18 to 27. Two minutes left to go in the first half. Conley looking to set up some offense here. Got the drive and the floater and he just missed. But number two, Corey Black got the ball back. Corey Black, another tremendous athlete as we just talked about before. That also plays football. Great athlete on the football field and he's proven to be the same here on the basketball court. Conley looking to move the ball here. Almost a steal there by Lorena. But Conley kept the ball, put the floater up, and it is a miss, but he got his own rebound. 
And they called the travel. Once he got the rebound. Uh, number two, Corey Black with the travel. Showing a lot of effort here, getting getting time to multiple possessions on offense. Though. Looks like Conley's looking to trap here once again. They're going to let him get across half court. Three-point shot is put up, and it is flat. But number 24 got the rebound, swings it to the corner. The three, and that is a miss as well. Lorena is getting the offensive, offensive glass so far, taking the advantage from Conley. Lorena looking to get a good shot here. Almost turned the ball over once again. And that is a turnover, another turnover for Lorena. Conley's athletes are dominating this game on the defensive side of the ball. They're gonna have to get some of those offensive rebounds though that Lorena is getting. If they can get those offensive re rebounds, it's gonna make it very tough for Lorena tonight. Good move from number 12 behind the back, kicks it out. Conley looking to get the last shot here of the first half. 10 seconds left to go in the first half. A step back, goes up for the layup, and it is barely no good. They get the ball back, puts it up, and a call a foul. So great hustle by the man who's been dominating tonight, number five, Jawan Ford. Great hustle to get his own miss, track it down, put a shot up before. 0.5 seconds left to go in the half here. Conley's gonna have two free throws. <laughs> Conley's athletes have really been making it hard for this Dorena team all night. Conley's been forceful on the offensive glass, the defensive glass. And the main place they've been forceful is in the passing lanes. They've created turnovers. They've gotten steals. <laughs> Coach Snell has done a great job in making his adjustments in the first two games, which Lorena won. Conley's done a great job so far in this first half in making the adjustments. As Ford knocks down his first free throw, getting ready for a second one. Knocks down both. And that is going to be the end of the first half with these Conley Cadets leading the Lorena Leopards 29 to 18 in the first half. It was once said that stories are the shortest distance between us and the truth. Others have tried to tell our story, but our story is unique. It must be told from the inside out. Our story is compelling. Our story is true. Our story is wake up. And you see all that I need Insecurity Makes no difference to you You love me In spite of me You still love me Love Bye. 
Hello, this is Roy Gillis here, live from Midway Stadium, Midway Gymnasium. We've had a great matchup here tonight between Okay now, but anyway, we've had a great matchup here tonight uh, between Connolly and the Lorena Leopards. Connolly has really, uh, so far, shown to be a little stronger team. However, Lorena's uh, has played good considering they haven't really been hitting that outside shot. Now, Connolly has a lot to do with that because they've extended the defense out and uh, really not giving Lorena a lot of open looks here tonight. But I'm, uh, I'm sure Lorena is going to try to make some adjustments at the half to try and uh, get some open looks because right now Connolly's really taking away those open looks. Uh, again, I saw Coach Sims watching a little bit earlier, and we want to make sure that we congratulate those lady cadets and an excellent job. Uh, they, they lost last week, but they have nothing to be ashamed of. They really played uh, an excellent season. Coach Sims did an excellent job with them. But we're looking to see uh, what adjustments Lorena makes, and let's see if Connolly can really push on the gas. They play, Connolly's played some excellent defense here tonight. They played some excellent defense, uh, and, and, and I think Coach Snell had them ready to kind of extend uh, the defense to run them off of that three-point line. Uh, and they've really done that. We've got a pretty good crowd here tonight. I am on the Connolly side, so they've been a little bit rowdy. Uh, but both sides, both both teams have really shown up well. And so uh, uh, tonight, we want to make sure that you like this page and share it so we can get some other viewers. We want to keep the content from Central Texas coming at you, sports content. And uh, you can continue to check us out at Syntex Sports. Recently, recently, a channel that we have launched is called Waco is Live. Waco is Live. And you can follow us on Facebook right now and on YouTube, Waco is Live, which will be featuring uh, human interest stories, some sports, some other, from around the Central Texas area. So Waco is Live is another one. And uh, we're excited about the support you guys have given us so far. Again, uh, thank the sponsors. We think we've got four, four sponsors that have really uh, helped us. Now, if you're watching and you're a business owner and, or you may work for some, a company that uh, you think this would be good for them, we're always looking for people, companies, or individuals that can help us get this content out. You can contact us, inbox us through Facebook, and uh, let us know uh, if you're interested in sponsoring some of this content. I think that's the Connolly band making a lot of noise over there tonight. That's great. But we're excited tonight. Uh, we're going to run a couple of commercials. Before we do that, again, thank uh, 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 Prosperity Tax Service, 605 Austin Avenue. Thank you guys, uh, Rocky and Keisha for helping us. Thank you for Custom Creations. Custom Creations on Panther Way, 103 Panther Way. Thank you for helping us sponsor some of this content. Uh, also, if you are, are, are you're hungry, you can go to the eatery, Southern Cooking, in East Waco, 821 Clifton Street. Uh, and uh, uh, you can go and, 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 and take up some of that food. They got some excellent fried chicken there. And if you're looking for custom Christian apparel, you can go to gfamapparel.com. They are one of our sponsors as well. Uh, if you're looking for Christian apparel, uh, use those guys and uh, really uh, uh, help our sponsors do well so we can continue to give you this content. 
Uh, we're going to run a commercial again here, and we'll be back to you with the beginning of the action shortly. It was once said that stories are the shortest distance between us and the truth. Others have tried to tell our story, but our story is unique. It must be told from the inside out. Our story is compelling. Our story is true. Our story is waking. And you see all that I need Insecurity Makes no Alright, we are back here for the start of the second half With Conley up on this Lorena team, 29 to 18. Conley's athletes have dominated this first half. Let's see if they can keep this up in the second half and continue to dominate with their athletes. And the team Cleveland to start the game off, start the second half off, bringing the ball up for Conley. Conley moving the ball around. Looking to get into the offense. Lorena looks to come out in the second half with a little more added pressure. Good drive from number two, Corey Black. But looks like they're gonna call it. They're gonna call a charge. So that is a turnover for Conley to start the second half. Lorena coming out with the ball. Conley looking to trap early here. Lorena gets the ball across half court. Conley going to look to keep the pressure on here throughout the rest of this game. That's what worked in the first half, and that's what they're going to stay with. Drive and a miss from the senior, number 24, Brian Ash. He got his miss. Try to put it back up, but it is blocked. Number five, Juwan Ford bringing the ball back up for Conley. The layup goes up and it is a miss from number five, Juwan Ford. Miss from number five, Juwan Ford, rebounded by Lorena. Conley keeping the press on. Let's see if Lorena can get a press break here. Lorena looking to stay patient, get the shots that they want. But Conley is making that tough. Open shot in the corner for number 32. It is an air ball, rebounded by Conley. Cleveland pushing the ball down the court for Conley. Swings it to the corner, number two, Corey Black. Looks to get a layup, and he misses. Rebounded by Lorena. The big man brought the ball up the court for Lorena. Looks to get them into the offense here. Caught a block down at the bottom. That foul is going to be on number two, Corey Black. 
the Conley side is not liking that call as they thought it was a charge. And it looks like Lorena's going to get two free throws out of it. Going to the line, the senior, Brian Ash, the big man who's been running most of the offense here for Lorena tonight. Two free throws for Lorena. And the first one is missed. A rare miss here tonight for Lorena. Rare miss. They have pretty solid free throw shooters all around the board. And he makes the second. Scores 29 to 19 with 540 left to go. Kind of looking to get into the offense. Another step back shot for number five, Ford. And it rims out. Rebound by the big man. 50 pulling. And he puts it back in. Score 31 to 19. Conley. Almost a turnover, looks like he's gonna stay Lorena ball. A couple of subs in on the Lorena side. Lorena on the out of bounds play, puts a three up and it is good from number 10. Livingston. We know this Lorena team can really shoot the ball. They shoot the lights out on a regular basis, and they come back in a lot of games because of that shooting. Let's see if Conley can keep the pressure on and not let these guys get to their go-to, which is the three-point shot. Number five, four, swings it out. They try to get it back into the big man, and it's a foul on Lorena. The 4.48 left here in the third quarter. Lorena is down 22 to 31. A couple of subs in for both sides. Looks like the big man B. Ash comes back in. Looks like he had a malfunction with his shoe. Had to get some new shoes there. Looks like number 12, Corey Taylor's got the ball to Junior. Swings it out to five, Jawan Ford. Let's see if he can create another play here. The drive and the shot is up from number five, Jawan Ford, and he hits again. He is dominating this game tonight, keeping the Conley up on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively. Here they come with the pressure. The shot is up from number 24, Brian Ash. It is a miss. Conley gets the ball. They're pushing the ball down the court. Swings it to the outside. Lorena looking to trap. Conley gets out of that. Bring the ball back up top for Cleveland to get the ball, to get them in their offense. Shot is up from Taylor. And he just barely misses. Rebound from big number 50 again, pulling. Get the shot to Cleveland for the three. It is a miss. Looks like they caught a loose ball foul on Big 50 down there. Trent pulling. Couple subs on both sides. We're gonna get number 15. Tucker back in the game, 63 Junior. Three minutes left to go in the third quarter. Conley up by double digits, leading by 11. And they called a foul there on the ground. Looks like that's a foul on zero, Demontre Cooks. They inbound the ball to their big man, B. Ash. He misses. Kind 
Con looks like Conley's going to make it tough for that big man. As they got a foul there coming up. Conley's going to make it tough for the big man. I know Lorena wants to run that offense through number 24. Brian Ash. But Conley's going to make it tough for them. They're going to make it tough for them to get layups and tough for them to get these threes up that we know they love so much. Step back shot by number 12. It is in and out. That was Corey Taylor with the shot. Brian Ash brings the ball up the court. Swing it to the outside. Gets a three up. He air balls. But Lorena gets the rebound. Lorena with the drive on the inside. He gets his own rebound. Fighting for the ball here. Scramble on the sideline. They call the jump ball, and the possession arrow is pointing towards Lorena. So they're going to keep possession. Number four, Jordan Nichols checking back in the game. Lorena keeps the ball here with two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Throw it down to the big man. Call the foul. Lorena keeps the ball. Looking to get into the offense, looking to get a shot off. Conley playing good defense, making it tough for Lorena to get into the offense. Trying to get it down to the big man, 24, B. Ash. A no call there. They get their own rebound, put it back up, and it is good. That is number 22, Bo, the senior. So Lorena's got the game back in the single digits. Both sides are, are really rocking here at Midway. So good defense there by the Lorena side. Inbound is to number five, Ford. Tries to keep his dribble alive, gets to the sideline, gets a shot up. It is a miss, rebounded by Lorena. Lorena looking to push the ball in this fast break. Good hands by Conley to stop the fast break, and they get the turnover. Conley looks to push the ball. Number zero, Cook's got the ball moving down the court. He's looking. He gets a shot up, and he is fouled. You love to see every time one of these Conley players fall down, all four of his teammates are there to help him get up. This Conley team is a really tight-knit team. As number zero, Cooks, knocks down the free throw. Cooks knocks down his first free throw. And he knocks down his second free throw as well. So the score is 35 to 24. Conley back up by double digits. Lorena bringing the ball up the court. Trying to get into the offense. If you guys uh, like what you see here on the Sensei Sports page, make sure to drop a comment on this live stream and also share and like the page as well. Looks like the ball gets stuck there. So it's going to be a jump ball. And the possession arrow is pointing towards Conley. So it's Conley ball. 53 seconds left here in the third quarter. Conley still up by double digits. Number five, Ford bringing the ball down the court. Ford drives. He kicks to the corner. Conley swinging the ball around looking for a shot. 
Number four puts the ball up. It is a miss. Rebounded by the Lorena side. He throws the ball down the court and he turns it over. Number zero, Cooks got the ball back. It's going to stay Conley ball. Got a couple substitutions coming in. Number two, Corey Black, and number three, Tory Nobles. Also a sub for the arena side, number 12 coming in. Getting that big man out the game. Probably don't want him to pick up another foul. Twenty two, twenty one seconds left to go in the third quarter. Conley still up by double digits. Looking to probably get the last shot of this third quarter. And the ball goes out of bounds there. Four seconds left on the clock. Conley's going to keep the possession. Sub there to get big number 50 in. Trent Pullen. And the shot is missed at the buzzer. So at the end of the third quarter, Conley is up 35 to 24 on Lorena. We got one quarter left here in this playoff game to see who's going to get to go to the quarterfinals in the state 4A division. Conley has been playing tremendous all night, causing turnovers on the defensive end. And that creates offense for them on the other side with transition layups. Number five, Dewan Ford has been putting on a brilliant game here. He's helped on the defensive side, creating turnovers. His step back shots have created offense in the half court. And he also has a few assists tonight here in transition, getting his teammates open. Now, you wouldn't be able to tell from this game tonight, but Conley has actually lost the first two games against Lorena when they played in district, both at home and at, Lor at Lorena. Coach Chanel has really made his adjustments in practice, and they've come out and they've been, and they've been dominating this Lorena team. Now we know that Lorena has shooters all over the court, and that can get them back in games quickly. We're going to see here in this fourth quarter, eight minutes left to go, how Conley can respond to keep these guys off the three-point line. The ball is in, 35 to 24. Start of the fourth quarter, Lorena has the ball. They get a shot up on the three-pointer, it is no good. Rebounded by Conley. They're looking to push the ball. Lorena's also looking to trap as well. Good behind the back there from number five, Juwan Ford, and he puts it in on the on the floater. He's having a great game here for Conley. Lorena puts up another three, and this one is good. Knockdown shot from Livingston, number 10. That keeps it to a 10-point game. I see how Conley can respond on this side. Nice drive from four. Kicks it out to number two, Corey Black, for the three. And that is a miss. Way off. Hits on the other side. And it looks like it's going to stay Conley ball. Uh, number 24, Ash, tried to throw it off of the Conley player. But the ref says his foot was on the line. So it's going to stay Conley ball. Inbound to number two, Corey Black. He drives, puts it up, and he misses it. He gets his own rebound, puts the ball back up, and it rolls around the rim, but there is a foul. So he's going to go to the line for two. Conley controlling both sides of the glass on the defense and offensive side. And it's creating second chance points for them, and that is crucial here in this fourth quarter with only six minutes left to go. First free throw is good by number two, Corey Black. Yeah. 
and he misses the second. Rebounded by number 24, Ash. He's bringing the ball up the court. He's looking to kick it out to his shooters. They get the three-point shot up, and it is good for number 20. And a quick timeout for Coach Snell as he knows how this Lorena team can get when they're knocking down three-pointers. And after that three-pointer, the score is 30 to 38. With Conley still up by eight, 30-second timeout from Coach Snell. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I see some of you guys watching right now. Uh, Alan Israel, thanks for watching. Craig Byers, thanks for checking us out. Coach Sims. I see Renee Ward saying, go Cadets. That's right. Go Cadets. And John, go Cadets. If you're checking us out, put something in the comments so we can know you're out there. Uh, this is a good game. It's starting to tighten up just as we thought it would. Lorena has not been hitting shots, but we know it's only a matter of time before they start hitting shots. And so uh, it's tightened up. 13-point uh, lead down to seven. Couple dance moves there by number two, Corey Black, who can't finish. Lorena rebounds the ball, and they're pushing it. Lorena is sprinting to this three-point line every time and looking to get shots. They get a shot up, number three, and he hits. Got another three-pointer from Lorena. And it's 33-38, and this Lorena crowd has woken up. It has tightened up. It's getting chippy. It's getting chippy here in Midway High School Stadium. This game is tightened up between Lorena and, and Connolly. This district rival matchup meeting here in the late or uh, late to mid playoffs winner of this game going on to play the winner of the jack yates booker t washington game from houston and we're just gonna see tonight we're keeping it right here no commercial midway i'm sorry commonly leading by five points by five points here in the fourth quarter the crowd is getting into it this Lorena crowd that's been quiet is now in the game. Lorena's playing with some confidence. The shots have started to fall. So we'll just see here. Getting back to the action here. It is 38-33. Lorena has closed this gap. They've been trailing the entire game. But three three-pointers have woken this Lorena crowd up, and they are loud. They are also feeding off of this crowd noise. Let's see how Conley can respond if they can put this game away and not let Lorena get their three-point shooters going. Both sides look locked in and they're ready to go to war with five minutes left to go to see who can go to the quarterfinals. Looks like a turnover. And he saves the ball, Brian Ash. They kick it out to the three-point shooter. And it rolls around the rim. And they're going to call a blocking foul on number 24. Great effort from number 24, Brian Ash, to save that. But they could not knock down the shot. Conley dodged the bullet there. Let's see how they can respond. They cannot have turnovers going in to the final five minutes of this game. They need to control the ball and get good shots up. Drive from number two, Corey Black. He puts it in. And they called a foul as well. And one, number two, Corey Black. A bucket that the Conley side needed very much. He misses the free throw, but they get the rebound, and it is put in by number three, Tory Noble. So turns that into a four-point play. 
And it looks like we got a travel on the Lorena side. Turnover. So Conley kicking it back up as they get it to 42-33. Nine-point lead, 5.03 left to go here in the last quarter to see who goes to the quarterfinals next round. No five, Juwan Ford cannot finish down there. They get the ball back out. Looking to trap in half court. And a, a force a turnover. Conley's defense forcing these turnovers. Conley up 42-33. The crowd is ready to, to explode on both sides. Let's see if we can get that crowd a reason to cheer. With four minutes left to go, Conley with a nine-point lead. Number 10, Cleveland trying to create. Give the ball out to number five, Ford. He's driving, looking to create a shot. He swings the ball out. Saved by number two, Corey Black. Saved it to number three, Tory Noble. Juwan Ford gets to his floater. That is his shot, and he puts it in. Juwan Ford being clutch down the stretch here. Lorena gets the outlet out fast, moves the ball down, and they get a foul. Number five, Jawan Ford has been coming up big all night tonight. He likes to get to that floater here on the right side and put it up, and it has been money almost every time. First free throw is missed for Lorena, number 22, Bo. Arena, usually a good free throw shooting team, has been missing here in the second half. He hits the second, gets it back to a 10 point game. Conley looks to push the ball down the court quickly. They get the ball to that big man, he puts the layup in. He just knocks the other guy right over <laughs> as he puts the layup in. Lorena moving the ball down quick, put a three pointer up, it is an air ball. Conley looking to move the ball. Down the court, Juwan Ford pushing the ball down. Almost turned the ball over there. They're looking to run some of this clock out. Give it back to the big man, number 50. He misses the layup, he gets it again, and one. Big Trent pulling with the and one with 3.29 left to go. That gives Conley a 14 point lead. Conley has created second chances, and Nat has done wonders for this team. Wonders for this team, creating second chances. The big man, number 50, Trent Pullen. With the and one, going to the free throw line right now to put a shot up. Hey, I see you guys out there. Marla Womack, Go Cadets, Kirby Wilson, John Howard III, Anthony Power, Powell, and Debbie Reed. Y'all keep checking us out. Lorena almost loses the ball there. They get it into the big man, number 24, B. Ash. 36 to 48. Lorena's looking to trap here in this half court. They get the ball past half court. Number 10 takes it all the way and he misses the layup. Foul, big number 50. Trent pulling. That is Trent Pullen's fifth foul. And it looks like both of these teams are in the bonus. So it's gonna be some free throws for the Lorena side. They're gonna to need to make all their free throws tonight or the rest of the night here in the fourth quarter if they wanna have a chance of coming back. Three minutes left, still plenty of time to put shots up for Lorena. But Conley is looking to stay on Lorena and not let them get any movement going. And the free throw is missed. 
Conley gets the ball off the rim, looking to bring it down the court. Number five, Juwan Ford takes it all the way, puts the layup up, and he misses the layup. Lorena pushing the ball in transition, looking to get a shot up here. He couldn't get the first one off, and it looks like a steal from number two, Corey Black. Gets the ball to number 10, Cleveland. He pushes the ball down the court, and they call a foul. Looks like Corey Black was looking to take flight there. We know he's a tremendous athlete. Free throw is missed. And it goes out of bounds and looks like it's going to be Lorena's ball. Conley still up by 12 points. 2.31 left to go in the game. Both teams are making substitutions with every dead ball. Trying to play a chess game here. Hey, we want to thank another one of our, our viewers out there. Passes Donald Hooks. Thanks for watching. Arena trying to move the ball down the court. They get it to half court. 2.20 left to go in the game, still down by 12. Lorena's trying to get into some type of offense. Taking a lot of time off the clock. We know they're going to have to put some quick shots up here. They try to get to the big man, and he turns the ball over. Number five, Juwan Ford moving the ball down. Number zero, Cooks puts the, ball, puts the layup up. He misses, but he gets the ball back, and he is fouled by number 24, B. Ash. And I believe that is his final foul of the game, so he is fouled out. Number 24, Brian Ash, has fouled out of the game. The best player on the Lorena side. It's a big loss for Lorena. Number zero, Demontre Cooks is going to get Two free throw chances here. <laughs> Looks like they had a lane violation there. So Cooks is gonna get one more free throw up. And he cans the second one. 148 left to go in the game. This Conley side has got a great lead. Lorena puts a three up. It is an air ball. Looks like they're trying to get any shot up. They go for a layup. That is also missed. Conley gets the ball across half court. Trying to run some of this clock out, and they get the foul. Lorena has to foul as they are down by 13. About 90 seconds left to go in this game. Conley is looking to put this game away and move on to the quarterfinals. Like I said earlier in the game, great job. Great job by Coach Snell to be able to rebound from the two losses they had against this Lorena team earlier in the season. The first free throw is missed by number five, Ford. Jalen, while we're at the, uh, looks like Connolly's got this thing under control unless something really crazy happens. want to thank everyone uh, that have really helped us all season. Those of you that have been keeping up with Syntex Sports, we're trying to do something that hadn't been done a lot here in Waco. We're not just... Connolly, but we, we want to make sure that we highlight all or as many of our student athletes as we can. I think we thank uh, Connolly for really opening up the doors to allow us to get access to this content. But if you're watching and you're not Connolly and you guys have some sports programs that you want us to cover, inbox us, let us know about it. Uh, we'd be happy if we can to try to cover that content. 
Also, uh, remember that Conley's going to be up again here at the end of this week to face the winner of the Jack Yeggs Booker T. Washington game. Not sure where that game will be played just yet, uh, but I do, uh, according to UIL on their website, it's going to be at 6 o'clock on Friday. So, uh, Conley Nation, if Conley holds on to this game, if they hold on to this game, which it looks like they will, uh, you want to make sure that you travel to get there to support those guys uh, locally or, or wherever they're playing. However, we're going to do our best to try to get we're going to do our best to try to get that stream out of wherever they do play. Again, thank all of our sponsors, Prosperity Tax Service, Custom Creations here in Hewitt, Texas, The Eatery for some great Southern cooking, GFAM Apparel, and not only them, but uh, Margaret over at Warren's Custom Engraving for all of your sports, all of your sports uh, trophies and that kind of thing. She's done a great good job. She's also one of our sponsors. That's Margaret at Warren's Engraving. It's a long inbound pass there. After the timeout, Conley is still up 50 to 38 with one minute left to go here in this game. Miss shot and another foul for Lorena. It's Conley looking to wrap this game up at the free throw line. Great job from these players on the Conley side. Great game. The player of the game, number five, Jawan Ford, leading his team throughout the game, coming up with big shots. Lorena got it down pretty close. Got it down to a four-point game at one point early in the fourth quarter. But this Conley team stepped up to put the rest of this game away. Up by 12 with 50 seconds left. Cooks miss both of his free throws, but they do get the rebound. Hey, I want to thank those viewers that were listening. Uh, so that game will be in Huntsville at Sam Houston. Thanks for that intel. 39 seconds left here at Midway High School Stadium. Looks like Conley has this one under control, up by 12 and going to the line right now. This has been a very resilient Conley team. Coach Snell has done an excellent job getting these guys prepared for this game. The game was gonna be centered around Lorena's ability to hit the three-point shot. Well, I think uh, Conley answered that question by running those guys off the line. While they got some three-point shots up, Conley ran those guys off that three-point line. So that three goes in for Lorena. 30 seconds left. Okay, we need to make a score adjustment. So Lorena is actually down by nine. Down by nine. He currently has this one under control. They just need to make their free throws and they can put this one to bed. I see we got someone watching all the way from San Antonio. We've got clergy watching, Pastor Joseph Johnson watching this feed from San Antonio. Allowing some of the San Antonio guys see what high school sports look like from Central Texas. These Connolly uh, cadets done an excellent job here tonight really controlling the three-point shooting of the Lorena Leopards. Conley's done well over the last three years going deep in the high school playoffs in basketball each year. Jack Yates has been a, uh, a thorn in the side 
of the Conley Cadets basketball team. Myself coming from the neighborhood that Jack Yates is in, in Third War, Texas. But I think it's going to be a little bit different this year if Jack Yates gets by Booker Washington. Booker T. Washington is the school that I went to high school at down in Houston. And uh, they have a good team this year. But traditionally, the Jack Yates Lions have been uh, a perennial powerhouse here in 4A in basketball. Several gentlemen uh, now in the, in, uh, in the NBA from the Jack Yates Lions team. Conley gets the rebound. Six seconds left here tonight in Hewitt, Texas. Conley at the line, up by 10. Jalen, it's been a, a, a good game here tonight. Been a pretty good game here tonight. Conley came out and responded, did the things that they needed to do, did the things that I know that coach talked about, and they executed. And they're going to go on to Huntsville. Some of these seniors checking out the game for Lorena, getting a standing ovation from the Lorena side. Hey, we also want to see a shout out to, we got people watching from Minneapolis, Minnesota. We've got some viewers coming from way up north, checking us out here in Central Texas, Centex Sports Network. And also uh, from Round Rock, Texas. Says Round Rock, Texas is proud of Coach Snell and the Cadets. Six seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Conley is up by 12. This Conley team is, is ready to go to the next round down in Huntsville, Texas, where they'll face the winner of the Jack Yates and Booker T. Washington game. As a matter of fact, the principal, Jalen, of that Jack Yates Lions team is uh, she graduated with me from Booker, Washington. So I'm gonna have to make sure I reach out to her and let her know if Jack Yates wins, they gotta deal with these Conley cadets. So that's the final tonight here in Hewitt, Texas. Conley 53, the Lorena Leopards 43. Conley wins by 10 tonight. Excellent, excellent game between the Conley Cadets and uh, the Conley Cadets and these Lorena Leopards. Lorena has nothing to be ashamed of. They had a great season, a great season, but Conley came out victorious tonight, Jalen. Conley came out victorious tonight after playing great defense, really decided this game. They ran Lorena off the three-point line, and that's exactly what they had to do in order for them to be able to pull this game off. We know Lorena's a great three-point shooting team. They got the best of Conley in the first two games of the season. Conley made their adjustments. They came out and they fought and they fired first and they kept the lead throughout the game. Great game for Conley tonight, great game.
So here we are at the end of the game. Uh, Conley, as I said, had a great game tonight, winning and taking control of these uh, Lorena Leopards. I'm going to see if I can get the superintendent of schools to come over. Jalen, you stay here with the folks. Great game here from the Conley side. Uh, they fought hard the entire game. Like I said, that defense, this Conley ISD has a lot of athletes, a lot of the same athletes we've seen from uh, the football side. If you follow us on Syntex Sports and you've watched us throughout the year, you've seen us covering this Conley team. A lot of these same athletes are here as well on the basketball team, and they really have made a difference, made a great difference in this game. Number five, Jawan Ford, player of the game tonight, really created a lot of opportunities, like I said, on the offensive side and the defensive side of the ball. He took the game over, and they had athletes all over, all over the court tonight, and it was just a little bit too much for the Lorena team tonight. I know they have great three-point shooting and all, but Conley's athletes really outworked them here tonight. We've got a uh, superintendent of schools getting ready to come and step in here with us. We've got superintendent of uh, Conley ISD, superintendent of West Hope. Superintendent? Yes, sir. This has been a pretty good game. This has been a great game. Great game. Very proud of our boys. Very proud of them. Uh, they, they, one, of the, one of the keys tonight was whether or not Connolly was going to allow Lorena to get that three-point shot off. Yes, sir. And uh, I think Coach Snell had them prepared. Yes, sir. Coach Snell and his, and his other coaches scouted well, shut down the three, shut down 24, which was key. Had a great game plan going into this one. Yeah, they ran them off that three-point line, and uh, uh, a couple of times I thought Conley was going to get them out of the gym. They, they looked like they was ready to run them out of this gym yes, a couple sir. of times. Yes, sir. Uh, so they go to the next round to play the winner of the Jack Yates Book of Washington game. Yes, sir. Jack Yates has been kind of a thorn yes, in the sir. side of uh, Conley. What, 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 what's different about this year and years past? I mean, what's... I think these boys are a little bit more hungry. A little bit more prepared, understand what it's going to take. Uh, they're peaking at the right time, mm -hmm. uh, coming together as a team. Uh, you know, and I know I've got some people watching from back there. I, uh, I was zoned to go to Jack Yakes. Yes, sir. I'm very familiar with it. But these guys, why they don't have the big six eight guy? These are some tough. These kind of the cadets are tough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our boys are not afraid to work. They're not afraid to get in there and just work. And, and I think that's the key. They did an excellent job tonight, Superintendent. Thank yes, you sir. for uh, allowing us to come and just be a, a, a fly on the wall to this uh, Conley ISD sports program. All year long, you guys have done well. Just every program. But we want to thank you definitely personally for allowing us in uh, to, uh, to highlight your kids. Well, we appreciate you coming and highlighting them. We really do. We appreciate all you've done for our Conley ISD and our kids. It's been a bit, tremendous difference, so thank you very much. Well, we appreciate it. Well, go cadets in this next round. Yes, sir. All yes, right. sir. Thank you. So you've had it, uh, superintendent of schools, Wes Hope coming in and uh, talking to these guys. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get let see if we can get Superintendent Ro uh, the Athletic Director Rhodes from uh, Midway to come by. <laughs> athletic Director, you're already over here. Come on and have a seat with us. No, I can't, I can't get him on air, but uh, they've done a w wonderful job. Again, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, we're trying to really kind of boost Waco, and we want to make sure that people from all over Texas and from wherever uh, we can reach people know that we have some great athletics here in the uh, Waco area. We've got some great kids. Uh, let us know if you've got a business and you want to be a part of what we're doing definitely let me know and and we can make sure we can make that happen and send someone by uh, uh but just hang with us here for a minute and we're gonna try to see where we can go so they've done an excellent job here tonight uh i don't know uh uh exactly which one is going to be out of uh, the Jack Yeggs team or it's going to be the uh, the Booker Washington team. But uh, I, I think that these guys are ready. They're pretty hungry. They're pretty hungry. And uh, so we're, we're going to try to see if we can't get uh, Coach Snell to come over here for our post game.
a little post-game interview. And uh, coach, I tell you what, these guys, we're letting him get a little juice because I know he's been yelling on the sideline <laughs> here. <laughs> We've got Coach Snell here with us tonight uh, from Hewitt, Texas. Coach? Yes, sir. Your guys answered, a, you, they answered a lot of questions here tonight. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. You, I, I think when we were doing the pregame scout, was Connolly going to allow Lorena to get those three-point shots man. off? Man. And your guys, they ran them off that line tonight. Well, we, we tried. You know, that's obviously um, a plan when you're facing guys that can shoot the basketball as well as they do. Uh, try to get them to use the handle a little bit, but – uh, you know, like I said, hats off to Coach Jackson and definitely, the Lorena Leopards, man. Definitely. Those guys, well coached, play hard. Uh, they do a good job defending, and they they shoot the lights out the basketball. Yeah, uh, we were very fortunate tonight, and uh, hats off to the defense. Uh, Coach Haynes does a good job with our defense. Definitely, definitely, um, definitely, definitely. And so they stepped up, and we had some guys step up tonight, and I'm really happy for them to get get a chance to go back to Huntsville. Uh, for the third year in a for row. For the third year in a row. Third year in a row. I, I think uh, one of the things that really stood out to me tonight, these guys was hungry. Yes, yes. These guys was hungry. and uh, I thought about not feeding them before the game, so they'd be real <laughs> hungry, you know what I mean? But, no, uh, yes, I mean, I mean, it's hard uh, to, to beat a team three times. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time we played them in district, uh, we played at third place, and they, they absolutely destroyed us. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got a chance to, you know, get the get the game back in the second round and and lose by two. Um, so yes, we thought that once the playoffs started and we finished with the third seed and Lorena took the second seed, everybody knew we were going to meet each other. Well, and that was the goal in the third round to see each other. And you did that, and uh, that's uh, you getting ready to face uh, either Booker Washington, I think, or Jack Yates. Right. And so we'll see what happens there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but you guys, I think you'll be prepared. You've seen Yates before, <laughs> and we'll see yeah. what happens there. Uh, I told him I, I've got people watching from that area. I'm from that neighborhood. Okay, all and, right, uh, okay. Uh, but uh, these guys are What is it, Third Ward High? Third Ward, Texas. Man. Third Ward, Texas. Yeah. And so uh, that story program. But yes. I've be really been impressed with Conley all year long. They, you guys have been resilient, man. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you very much. It, start, it starts in July. June, really, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It starts in June, you know, in the summertime. And uh, those guys making a commitment to, you know, trying to get better uh, in the weight room, strength and conditioning, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, we got 13 guys on the team, 10 of them play football. So they go right from football, wow, uh, wow, you know, wow. and uh, have an extended football season. And then they come to the gym. And, uh, and we, you know, we said that, you know, at the beginning of the year, this is this is where we want to be all the time, mm -hmm. you know. This is the this is the this is the the standard, mm -hmm. uh, so to speak. And now we're just trying to get over the hump of the regional semifinal. Well, coach, all I can say is congratulations. Thank man. you very much. Enjoy I appreciate it. Tonight. I know, yes, I know. I, I know kind of what you're gonna be doing tomorrow. It's gonna be in the next <laughs> in next round mode. But we I'm about to go do that now. now? Okay. <laughs> as well, soon as I find out who it is. Yeah. Well, we just want to say congratulations, man. You guys I appreciate awesome. it. And Thank you guys for what you do for our for the kids in this community. We really appreciate it. Uh, just like I told you before, showcasing the kids and the talents that they have, I think that's super remarkable on you guys' behalf. So thank you for doing your job for this community. Appreciate you, it. Coach. No doubt. Congrats again. All right. Thank you, sir. All right, you had it. Uh, Coach Snell giving us some insight, and what a great win for the Conley Cadet team. They'll enjoy this tonight, and they'll get ready for whoever shows up next. Uh, some of my people back in Third Ward, well, uh, there's a team coming to see, see you guys. And so uh, for all my peeps in Third Ward, Texas, we're going to try to see if we can meet up in Huntsville, Texas, and, and get this game on. Yakes has been the winner. Uh, they kind of uh, really just kind of own Connolly in a lot of respects. Uh, last year, they played them to two points. Two points, and Yates came out on top. This year, I'm looking for the Connolly Cadets to be really, really ready. Coach Snell has got those guys ready and hungry. So, anyway, this has been uh, Roy Gillis uh, tonight. Thank you. Play-by-play uh, -play has been Mr. Jalen Gillis. We hadn't seen him on the basketball side this year. He was, uh, he was our football play-by-play. We want to thank him and thank my daughter for doing uh, camera work and one of my other sons 
Uh, make sure you like and follow our Facebook page. This will be up again on YouTube. Again, this is Roy Gillis, Syntex Sports Network. Thank you and good night.